you might remember us. We have been here about two years ago to interview the WND 820. We, that is Reinhard Glade, Jens Schumann, and I am Ernst August Formwald, product manager of our WND mailing solutions. Reinhard is my predecessor at the position for product management in our inserting business. And Jens is uh, one of our engineers and he's going to demonstrate this new WND BB820 Plus for us later on. The new BB820 Plus can be considered as an enhanced BB20 with a size range up to 9 by 12 or 10 by 13 for our US customers. This would be equivalent to the European sizes C4 and B4. But actually, it's more than just an enhanced version of the BB20, as it comes with a lot of new innovations, which I'm going to ask Reinhard, and uh, he should demonstrate what's new for us on the BB820 this time. Thanks, Ernst. Um, obviously, the platform of the A20, A20 Plus is continuously innovated. But there are two major areas of difference that defines the A20 Plus, which is our new rotary feeder, RF4, and the innovations improvements in the insertion module. So uh, let's take a look first at the RF4. The RF4 features the improvements that we already introduced with the RF3 a couple of years, couple of years ago, which are the enlarged feeder drum, the individual vacuum provision for the suckers across the product width, mm -hmm. which ensure a consistent separation of even non-perfect material at okay. high speeds. The jogger in the backrest, which provides a perfect registration of the product before feeding, again a feature of consistency. Uh, eventually, in addition to the low level control, which is a safety feature obviously, a second pre-warning for the operator to alert the operator. Okay. Um, and as all WD feeders, the feeder provides for a camera interface, a camera port that locally at the feeder provides camera trigger and power for the camera lighting. So moving of cameras on the machine is extremely easy. Now, looking at the configuration, you will see four rotary feeders. As the rotary feeder for WD is still the primary feeder, as it can not only feed single sheets, folded sheets, or BREs, this feeder will also handle a stitched booklet of up to one eighth of an inch thickness or three millimeter. And as you can see, the feeder has the necessary tolerance to handle also varying stack heights in the hopper. Okay. The configuration is then completed with two friction feeders or hybrid feeders yeah. because they combine friction and vacuum. Uh, with two separation gates, the standard separation gates, probably brochures, thicker brochures, etc. And the new separation gates with backrest with integrated jogger for open edge single folded sheets. But, but why not? This this is the HF2 feeder, the feeder we used on the BB700, BBH20. What if you had an RF2 feeder, a rotary feeder? Could you use it on this machine as well? The A20 Plus is compatible with basically the range of feeders that the 700 and 820 platform offers. So, so, so if you look at an RF2, yes, the feeder would run here. It would limit the speed okay, of the okay, machine to yes. 16K. But it would be accepted by the machine. But it's totally interchangeable, no matter if it's an RF4, an RF3, an RF2, or an HF4, whatever it is, whatever run on a BB700 would, would run would, on all these machines. Would run. Yeah, specifically if you look at the 820 Plus being a flats capable machine, you would probably look at a shuttle feeder. Yeah. Necessary to be integrated here. That's an option. Our vacuum track on the vacuum segment right. on the track right. for inline printing or fixing yes. would be an option. The okay. turnover would be an option. Uh, and obviously, if you look at the machine, uh, the range of heavy duty 
input channels, whether yes. cut sheet or two up continuous. Yeah, that that's with cut without saying. That would have been my next question. Reinhard, this unit here does not look like a feeder. Can you explain what we need it for? Ernst, this is our divert on the track. It supports our automatic mesh recovery concept, okay. or is part of the concept. Um, when running two or multiple personalized streams on the track, pieces can be diverted here, which means the 40 set, and the subsequent repair set will be diverted in this unit. You could also choose that any miss or double would be diverted in this, mm -hmm. in this divert before actually insert it even into a generic envelope. Now, you could always choose to insert into a generic en envelope and divert in the standard gate. So, in, as long as you're basically on the track, this is a nice to have. It becomes a must if you consider running pre-personalized outer envelopes. Okay. In this case, you're merging between documents on the track and the envelope. Now, if an envelope that does not have a corresponding insert would be read and diverted in our, in our internal divert, yeah. whereas inserts that would not have a corresponding envelope would go into this unit here. Exactly. Here we have our inserting module, which is new as I understand. Right now, can you walk us through the details, what's new and what's special on this oh, module? Absolutely. Um, first, in any insertion process on a BB, you have several motions that you need to control. You have the envelope track that eventually will present the envelope. You have the gathering section that provides the insert. You have the insert pusher unit that actually fills the envelope. You have the vacuum opening bar that opens the envelope for stuffing. And eventually you have the insert fingers or straps that guide the product into the envelope and avoid collusions with the, with the envelope. Um, on the A20 Plus, now in, on every machine, the coordination of the different motions is dictated by the largest envelope. Uh -huh. Now, on the A20 Plus, we have granted the machine an additional servo drive in order to allow for the flexible optimization of the various motions. So for, let's say, for every, maybe not for every size, but for every group of sizes? Every size, small, can medium, have not, yeah. special motion controls. What is the total range of this? The total range, obviously, if you go back to the A20, started with the number 973 quarter mm -hmm. to a 6.5 by 9.5 or number 14. Right. On the A20, we increase the size range on the larger size to cover also a 9 by 12 and a 10 by 13, Which a C4 and B4. Yeah, that's what I to but add. even on the smaller size, we went down to an envelope depth of uh, Three seven eights, which relates to the number nine, now down to a se uh, three three quarter, which allows okay. us to run even a, a number seven envelope mm -hmm. on this machine. So the largest range of sizes that any probably any inserter on the market will oh. provide for. Now the small the control of the smallest sizes, the lowest depths of the envelope is granted by our new envelope stopper and exit belt arrangement. Mm -hmm. The exit belt follows the envelope stopper all the way down and secures that even a short envelope is leaving the insertion point with the necessary control on the envelope. And the fact that the envelope stopper is now brought in position by linear drive also features a limited outer set feature on this machine. Okay. Together with the sort of civil driven features that we have on over the machine, like the offset of the feeder, the timing of the camera on the feeder, the vacuum provision in the insertion module, the timing 
of, uh, of, this, of the envelope ceiling. So changeover is actually made easy for the operator. So if there is not much he would need to manually All he has to do, adjust. all he has to do is even enter an envelope size okay. or recall an existing job. The machine will automatically reference the envelope stopper will travel into position mm -hmm. and all he needs to do is change the envelope width, the, the, the rails, if he has an envelope, if he runs an envelope with a different width, so between a number 10 and a 6 by 9 and a half, you wouldn't do need to mm -hmm. do anything, but obviously if you change to a yep. 9 by 12, then yes. Um, and depending on the envelope design, the throat of the envelope, you may have to adjust the envelope okay. suckers. Right. But all these settings, they are limited and they are tool free. Right, yeah, that's what I saw. There's uh, all uh, handles and uh, grips, Lots, yeah. so you don't need any uh, tools for that. Absolutely. Which is good. So here we go. Reinhard, we saw all of this, but, but what are the benefits for our customer? What does it mean for the customer who is using a machine like this, the BBA 20 Plus? It's, it's, it's a sum of several features, obviously, that, that, uh, that creates the benefits for a customer. Obviously, to start with, it's the speed of the machine. Okay. Now, you're, with the A20+, Plus, you're having a high-speed inserter that provides you a potential of 20,000 envelopes mm -hmm. per hour on a number 10, 20,000 envelopes on a 6x9, but it, at the same time, also allows you to run flats. Now, you do have the occasional job for a flats or... If not, you may have the six weeks calendar season, a year, yeah. where you need, you need the machine that is able to run a number 12. Now, that's the one thing. Equally important, the nets on the belt. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just the cycling speed, it's the nets on the belt, the productivity. That's right. Now, what drives the productivity? It's obviously, it's the consistency of the machine. The consistency of feeding on the rotary feeder the consistency of reading when it comes to personalized products, the control, the Atmos control of the envelope mm -hmm. that we have inserted an envelope that provides of high throughputs, not just high throughputs, also tight packs, which even potentially even creates mm -hmm. the potential for paper savings. Um, what else uh, adds to net outputs? The intelligence on the machine. Now, if you look at our Faulty envelope, the sticking flaps detect yep. that on this machine really works and reliably works. The, the, the uh, diverting sticking flaps, faulty envelopes, and without machine stop, continuing to produce consistently. What also helps the net output on personalized jobs is our auto mismatch recovery because it will yeah. correct sequence errors without operator intervention, without machine stop. You reduce number of stops. Absolutely. Yeah. And eventually uh, our OC4, as it, uh, as it uh, helps to run the machine consistently. Mm -hmm. um, what else? At the, the benefit of the larger sweet spot. This machine will not just serve standard envelopes. Uh, it runs run heavier stock envelopes smaller sizes, um, non-standard envelopes, if you look at uh, trailing edge designs, or you look at fully personalized envelopes. Okay. Um, the ease of use on the machine, the servo-driven settings that we have, uh, and the limited manually settings. So, uh, to a good extent, out of set capability, mm -hmm. not complete, but limited manual settings Tool free. Okay. Uh, eventually, uh, you look at uh, at the sort of the open architecture and the modularity of the machine. This makes sure that you're not even able, not only able to cover today's requirements, the jobs that you will be faced with this season, next season, but you have a large security for future applications as well. And last not least. You're looking at self-service, service concepts. This machine is easy to master by yourself. Okay. So uh, that's basically... Yeah. yeah. That's a machine for the future. And you never know what's coming. 
you always can change features, you can add features, you can change the, uh, the installation or the configuration, and you're almost prepared for anything which is to come. That's it. Yeah. Right now, thank you very much.